My name is um, Essien Akpanoko, and I've been in the Department of Accounting for close to 20 years now. I was a student here, and I was taught by Dr. Akpan at my BAC level. I graduated in the 1995 year, and our batch, most of us are doing well. Currently, in the department, I've been the examination officer. In the university, I am the vice dean of students. So Dr. Hockman has been a father to almost all of us because we started the university with him. He founded the faculty, ran it through till when we met it. And he has been the dean, head of department, for years unnumbered. His contributions and the number of students he has graduated are well over 10,000. And he took all of us in as a father. When I say father, I mean father that understands your problem beyond just the academics. So your face frowns and he will tell you what is wrong. If you say your parents, he will say, I want to hear how it goes. So for me, he has been my father at the BAC level. I did not do my master's degree here in the University of Uyo. And when I came back to do my PhD, he was also there for all of us. He played a key role in bringing, up, up, bringing us up to that level. So for us, the general name we call him is not for Joe, Sweetheart. If you find out from any person, Sweetheart is the name. While teaching you, he wouldn't tell you the subject is not a course you can handle. Yes, it's difficult, but it's something you can do what you can overcome if you have the right technique, the right posture, and the belief system. So when he walks into the class, he will tell you, write and tell yourself, this is what I'm going to score for this subject. You know, most of us did it, and it came to pass that those things we wrote out for ourselves became the scores we made. Definitely, it tells you it is about the psychology and the disposition you have for that particular course. So Dr. Okapan, if you give me a whole day to talk about him, it won't be enough. Because I've come to know him as a friend, I've come to know him as a father, I've come to know him as one. If he has one bread in his office and he woke up to him and said, Daddy, I'm hungry, he will hand over that one bread. Not minding whether there will be another bread for him to eat in the next day. That's the kind of teacher we came to see in Dr. Oban. So when you talk about a teacher, he was a teacher. And there's no way now you put him in class to teach you. You will still see that teacher in him, reflecting in all that he says to you. He's an awesome man. He's an experienced person. He's a father that most of us never had. We wish we were having a, as a father, but we never had. He doesn't treat your problem as... Another, he doesn't write you off. He believes that there is an opportunity for you. Our only, maybe we say regret or when we feel bad is that he co-opted us into a system that has made us poor. So because when you have chosen to become a teacher, you're not coming for the money. You're coming for the reward in heaven. So at the time that he has retired, we'll be struggling to meet up with our own family demands and not having enough to give out to him. But that doesn't stop most of us struggling to make ends meet. If we hear him in trouble, we stand up and run around. He has been a father, he has been a friend, he has been a mentor, he has been a role model. In conclusion, that's what we call him, sweetheart. And I sincerely wish that God will give us enabling time, enabling pause to be able to reward him properly for what he has turned us into. He has turned us into human beings. Because most teachers don't have, but he has turned us into, said, first you must be human. And that's what he has made of all of us. First we realize that in this world, full of ups and downs, you must first be what? Humans. Before you fight for the right, before you struggle for correction. And that is what we have become. So sincerely, I owe him a lot. And I thank him. And I wish to join those who are preparing this to celebrate him while he's alive. I don't want... To be a part of those who, will, when they see his coffin lying down, they said, oh, that man was good. But I want to join this team to celebrate him while he's alive. And he has written so many books. 
in accounting, accounting for beginners, which I advise any year one, year two student to carry and read, simplified edition of accounting. And the one that is compiling now, which is elucidating and eliminating what he did in contribution to make the faculty of business administration stand out. He would have stayed abroad and made his life, but he came back here to offer us the light. And he came back with that light. He started that light. Millions have been lit up. But the challenge is, when Jesus made 10 people, healed 10 people, only one came back to tell him, thank you. I know the day we will make a call. For those he has touched, they will come back to celebrate him. And I wish for that day. I'm so grateful for Adia for making this happen. And God will bless her.